How's it going guys? It's Poetry Set and welcome back to another Steel Division episode. We're going to actually be using this as a new series. Uh, I'm going to be marking this as a new series uh, because it is a separate campaign and it'll be a good way to organize things. Also might interest people who didn't want to watch the American campaign. Uh, in any case, uh, we are going to go ahead and get started today with the uh, German campaign. I actually tried to start a video of this before. It didn't work. My computer was having issues, which should be solved now, where essentially my CPU was hitting like 50% usage. And normally, well, for instance, right now it's at like 11. Uh, and once we launch this, we'll see what happens as well. So I have already seen the cutscene, so I'm just going to let it play and I'll try not to talk over it. But uh, but yeah, my computer was having some issues. Uh, I am back at school now. I think the issue was in part caused by the fact that it, my computer got jiggled around. There were some loose cords. When I <clears throat> when I was in transit and whatnot, audio is kind of cutting out. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna let this play. But yeah, for instance, right now, CPU is at literally like eleven and a half percent. I haven't seen it go above fourteen percent. Whereas before it was getting up to fifty, sixty percent and lagging the game while it was recording. It was terrible. On the morning of June 6th, the long-awaited Anglo-American invasion in France finally began. Yo, there was Canadians too. By Stalin's orders, the it's a propaganda. Have thrown all their forces into the battle in Normandy, where they have run right into our impregnable Atlantic Wall. <sighs> the battle is now engaged under the command of Field Marshal Rommel. The Desert Fox had placed his old 21st Panzer Division, the Heroes of the Africa Corps, on alert and unleashed them in a counter-attack against the British Nord of Khan in the very first hours of the invasion. Okay, so we're going to be playing as the Germans now. The invasion has begun, Herr Major. Field Marshal Rommel is on the way back from Bavaria and is already planning a counter-attack. Okay. In our sector, the invaders are British. British. The infantry division at Lyon sur Mer commandos at Wistraham. More troubling are the many reports of Anglo-Canadian paratroopers being dropped during the night east of the Orne River. They have taken control of the last bridges standing over it at Benneville, thus preventing any movement from our reserve panzer divisions against the invasion's plan. Major von Luck's Kampfgruppe is advancing to engage them. This Oban opens panzers being expected to reinforce them later this afternoon. Our Kampfgruppe is in the most advanced position, closest to the landing zone. Ah, here we go, boys. Okay, so, again, it seems like my computer is in good shape now, and I'm very glad about that. Also, let's wait for this. They are trying to link up this and reinforce their paratroopers at Benouville Bridge. Our orders are to prevent the link up at all costs. Failure to do so will doom any attempt at wiping out the paratroopers and recapturing the bridge. A battle group from the 700... I'm, I'm curious. Uh, any German viewers here? I'm sure there's at least one or two out there. What do you think about the voice acting for the German dude? Uh, the German accent in English? Because it seems like... I don't know. Is it offensive? Is it a good accent? Good impression? We would save a good number of men to bolster our ranks for future operations. Well, one of my dad's friends is German, but uh, <laughs> I don't have much experience with German people. Okay. Alright. So, we have to prevent the close off of this road. We just have to basically hold on to this sector here, this corner. Um, we do have some troops up here, which is nice, in Oysterham. I don't speak French, I'm sorry. Oysterham. Um, and, uh, Oysterham? I don't know. Uh, and so, but, uh, 
But we basically just have to preserve them. We don't really need... I don't know. It'd be useful to send up troops uh, along here. I think we kind of want to do sort of a... We want to obviously hold off on... Hold off uh, kind of with our defense center around this village here. Uh, I think that would be a pretty fair place to start, as well as this one here. But we probably also want to put some stuff in the trees around here. They're in the trees, man. So it does actually start you with a loadout for this one. And I looked through it last time. I, I think I'm pretty much okay with how it has it laid out. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I would change at all. I'd probably change... There's no actual normal artillery, huh? That's fine, then. Um... Are dominating the sky. Should we call U 87D for air support? We will have to keep them close to our flag cover or under ME 109 escort. I don't really think that air support is going to be that helpful. These ones have like a little bit of bombs. I think I'm actually going to not bring them and instead opt in to bring in some more infantry. What's a Panzerstreck? Well, maybe the guns will. We have to position them skillfully to shoot enemy tanks at long range or from the side. Okay, that seems fair actually. All right, I'm just gonna hope that it is good for us, and we'll start this. All right, uh, so I do have some stuff to talk about. We'll talk about that once we get into the battle a little bit. Uh, so can we only start uh, over on this side? Is that what it's? Yeah, we have to be in this sector here, uh, which I don't like. I'd rather bring some into this area, and I'm sure we will be able to once the battle gets started. Um, but, I mean, I, I think for starters I'd like to hold on to this, uh, hold on to this, uh, what? Why are there two there? I didn't mean to place two. I, that's fine, though. I do want to. Um, what is, what is the difference between you guys? You're the same. It's just this one is a commander, or better one. Whatever. Um, get some anti-tank. I think we'll just get a immobile cannon. Um, I think we'll also get some anti-air. They will have bombers, I'm assuming. We are not the ones with air superiority here, uh, now that we're the Germans. Um, how many do we actually... How many troopers do we actually need here? That's a good question. Um, I want to make a good defense of this... Of this bridge. Um, I think we should save some for the for the whole uh, with the intent of um, what's it called? Uh, what I was talking about before of uh, being able to reinforce on this side immediately. Um, so I think they're probably going to come down this main road to be honest but they could also come from this side. That's something we have to think about. Um... With that being said, where do we put our recon units? I think we kind of put them here in the trees. Uh, what do we do with our infantry? Well, I think we put them in buildings. Do we want them to be so far up? I, I think we might as well. Might as start. Might as well start things off right. Um, so, I am back at school now. This is the first video I'm actually recording since I have been back at school. Um, I've only been back, like, you know, two days now, but I do want to note that the acoustics in the building I'm at now might indeed be different. Um, they should actually be better, is what I'm hoping. Uh, who are you? Anti-air, okay. Um, anti-air, I want you behind lines. The anti-tank gun is the really interesting one. Uh, I think we want the anti-tank gun to be here, with the long, long line of sight. Uh, but we could also put it, like, over here, have a long line of sight in... The only problem is that then we could, we risk having, um, buildings blocking our, our angle. But we're gonna have buildings either way block here. <coughs> our angle, excuse me. I think we do, I think we bring it over here. I'm, I'm fine with this. We're gonna have the recon here. If anything, I would like some... Maybe like a... Maybe another set of grenadiers that would be... Over here. And that's everything except for this guy, which is a... What is this? 
Oh god, what is this? <laughs> I, I don't remember what this is. This is a... A support. Okay, so it's good for enemy infantry. Um, that's a good question. Where do we expect to see enemy infantry? I, I think for now I'll just hold I'll just hold you behind lines. Um, I think that's everyone. So yeah, so I am at school now. I hope the acoustics are better. I'm talking like more against a wall. There's gonna be less back echo. I'm hoping, uh, and there's more like above me is my bed. I'm under an lofted bed, so. I'm hoping the acoustics will be better, although I'm not sure if that will be the case. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and launch. So, those guys will start going. I do want to get... We we can't actually use that. That's very annoying. Oh, we do have a... No, that's just the bug that happens. Or It's not even a bug, I don't think. It's just a weird... A little weird quirk or something. Um, we do know where they are now. You are a flat gun. You should get behind enemy lines. This is not good. Yeah, you're gonna get wrecked there, buddy. Um... Oh my god. That's a lot of, uh, friendlies coming in. I do think we should get some artillery once we can. Hmm... That's quite concerning. They're pushing quite strongly here. Yeah, you're gonna get roasted and toasted real quick if you don't get out of there. Um, okay. Yeah, so, uh, I, I like my roommates uh, so far, by the way. Um, I don't know, if they're watching this video, uh, you guys seem pretty cool. That'd be kind of weird, though. I don't think they would watch my videos, though. This is, like, it's kind of a niche channel. I, I was actually, um, the reason I'm bringing that up, though, I, I was actually talking to... Oh, we do get the... Oh, this is real nice, actually. I forgot that this is a thing that happens uh, with some troop types. Um, so I do... I like my roommates so far. Uh, I was actually talking to one of them just before recording this uh, about... Um, what's it called? About... Uh, about uh, him actually possibly wanting to start a YouTube channel at some point. He said uh, he's actually... a. Uh, he actually plays CSGO, and it seems like he was saying that he plays pretty well, and I have no reason to disbelieve him. Um, all of them girls, all of them girls, Shawnee, <laughs> Shawnee Ball. Okay. Um, so, the fact that uh, he's pretty good at CSGO is kind of cool. He was, uh, it looks like he was taking interest in like what I do with the channel, saying like, you know, uh, and, and I was basically like, you know, if you ever want help, like, setting up a stream or something, feel free to ask me, and I would love to help in any way I can. But, uh... But, yeah, I, I really, uh... Because I do like helping people that are interested in that. Um, of course, like, some people, like, you know, spam and stuff about it. Um, and then it gets kind of out of hand. But if you're not spamming stuff, I am always willing to give you tips... And whatnot, I'm always willing to... I'm not necessarily always willing to do a collab and stuff, because that's one thing that is, like... A classic thing that lots of uh, people will do is, like, ask for a collab. And I don't do that normally with just random people. Um, but I am almost always willing to, like, give tips and stuff and, and help people in any way I can. When I can. Um... So yeah, they are gonna come through here, it looks like, which I don't like at all. Oh god, I don't have a way to... Oh, that's not good. Um... The what? Yeah, get over there. This might be a little harder than I actually thought it was gonna be. Enemy air contact, that's okay, we do have flak. Okay, I want to get another anti-tank to be over here. Oh god, I have the bug that happens sometimes. I want you to be over here. Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. 13 attack is real good. I just need you guys to hold on for a second. Yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm actually going to be able to do this. Uh, oh my god, they're getting so... That's so many troops. Okay, um, better for supply, I don't care that much about that. Okay, 
Okay, we destroyed an enemy thing here. Uh, I would like you to, to hurry it up, please. It's real not good that they're actually getting so far already. I really do not like that. Uh, yeah, jeez, that's real bad. Holy cow. Uh, okay, we might have to redo this one, it looks like. Um, and I think we need, like, we're doing well with our goal of holding on to this town over here. But that's not the only thing that... WN-14 reports one of its 8 destroyed, my herr. Saving the remaining gun could be of huge benefit later. We could, of course, like, cut them off if we play our cards right here. There you go. Destroy them! There you go. Okay. I'm gonna leave you for a... Like, the, the infantry over here should be able to hold it down, but I do think we need to get, like, a... I don't even know, man. This is not... This is just not great in general. Okay. Uh, I do have supply things here, but... I don't like this at all. Do we have artillery? Enemy air contact, that's okay. I'm not super worried about that. Can't you go faster? <laughs> Oh, you need to stop moving though, because otherwise you're gonna. Oh no, it's probably too late. Yeah. Oh my god, this is brutal, man. Okay, so I think I might have misplayed this right off the bat here. We don't have to survive that much longer, but we do need to survive. And I can't get in that way. That's the most annoying part of this. Like, I'm doing fine with this, like I was saying, I, I'm doing fine with this, but this isn't really the the main thing. I know, man, I know. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm doing the best I can. I, I think we might have lost this one already, to be honest. British troops have broken through, man. They're already on their way to reinforce the breach. So they kind of just have to reach like this area here. It's real not good. Okay, we do have our cannon here working on some stuff, which is nice. But I don't know how that long how long that's gonna last. Oh no! Darn it! Our big gun got destroyed as well. Here, you're gonna go in and get into the combat there. You need to make your way over here. Or else you're not gonna be able to do anything. It already got destroyed. Our, our thing already got destroyed. Lovely! Just, just effing lovely, mate. Yeah, this is terrible. Uh, I think I may have misplayed this. Terribly. As soon as you get sight, blast that puppy. Slice that puppy. Crap. Yeah, they're gonna get they're gonna get through yeah, cut through with that one as well. Rest in freaking pepperonis, man. This has been a, a terrible display. Oh no, wrong one. Destroy them! What are you doing? That's a Sherman 2. Oh my. Yeah, okay. Wow, this is going terribly. Huh. WN 14 is calling for help, Herr Major. They can't hold much longer without reinforcements.
This could be certainly going better. Yeah, so we failed our secondary objective. Wow. Wow, the allies really bring the heat, don't they? Oh my. That's a freaking crocodile. I don't like that. Not one bit. I, remember, I played enough Men of War to know that crocodiles are not someone you want to be messing with. Okay. We have gotten to round two. Will we be able to survive now? I think it might be too late. However, we gotta try. <laughs> we have to get like a lot of machine guns and a lot of other junk over here. Okay, come over here. No, no, no. Why? Get into there. You get into there. I need you guys to, to bum rush it. Alright, artillery is actually holding it down now. We kind of we kind of need our like more anti-tank stuff though. I think at this point. Like sort of a. Just run, just run. Get him pinned down, and we got this. We got this. I think we don't have this, actually, but we'll try. Go scout it out for us, buddy. Okay. Oh, no. You got this, guys. You got this! I wish we should've brought some uh, bazookas or whatever. That would've been nice, actually. Okay. Go, 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 go. Oh god, they have artillery over there too. Well, this could certainly be going better. That's for, for darn sure. Go ahead and uh, fire position right here. We might be able to do this. By the skin of our scrote. There's a flamethrower though. That's real not good. I don't have any tanks left either. It's just awful. Okay, go ahead and unload your dude here. Come on, come on, get a line of sight, get a line of sight. Just gotta get some height on him. Just gotta get some height on him. Come on, so close, so close. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm so sad. Alright, we're at least holding the infantry back a little more now. There you go, you guys can get those. Did you say try to time to F them, sir? That's uh, extremely rude, but you know. I understand, it's, you know, war and all that. You got no cover, that's real bad. Yeah, that's real bad. Come on, come on, come on just get a shot off. Transmission. Ah, I'm fresh out the kitchen. 
Yeah, definitely could be could be better. I think I need more artillery actually. Nine have made it through. The line is mostly holding my hair. If we can ensure that no more enemies are uh. through, retaking the bridge shouldn't prove too difficult. Come on, just a little longer. Please. As long as we can just protect this, like, supply line that we have here, where our troops can get through to this area, where they can fight, then we might be okay. Oh my. I mean, this is a pretty intense mission. It's pretty difficult, gotta admit. Ramping up the difficulty. Slowly but surely. That's what I like. Okay. If we can get a line of sight here, it'd be really good. Maybe get a recon over here. Enemy air contact. We still got our, our flak cannons. Just get to cover and hold it down. Hold down the fort! For Gunther! Come on, come on, come on, come on. Decoy! Just get to the point where you can shoot this thing, please. Enemy rifle leader. Good, 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 good. Too far. Hey, machine guns! Stay here. And whenever you see one, you're gonna murder him. Okay. We might be able to hang in there long enough. Let's just keep our hopes up. Come on. Come on, you got it. Yes! We surrender. Enemy surrender. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. You can make it. You can make it. Please, let me win. I did want to have to redo this mission. Actually, it's been a pretty fun mission because it's been so so close. So I wouldn't mind doing this again, honestly, if I had to do any mission again. Okay, so if we do fail, which, uh, I don't know, like, it doesn't matter if we lose this at this point. Um, and it looks like we are, it's increasingly likely that we are going to lose this. Okay, however, if we do, we know what we need to do better next time. We need to get straight to this area over here. We'll leave, what I'll probably do next time, if we, have to, if there is a next time, is leave a token defense on this side of the town, since they ended up flanking us anyways. Maybe in the trees here with an anti-tank. That seems perfect. Um, and then be able to uh, pivot and put most of our forces right in here. Anti-tank, anti-whatever, you know. Anti-whatever. There you go. Destroy that thing. I need more infantry. Just get over there. Crap! We're falling all around, men. We're falling. We cannot fail in our mission. Das 
There you go. Anti-tank thing got destroyed. That's real not good. We gotta go off-road now, boys. Can't stay on the road anymore. Our cover's been blowing. I still have, like, flat cannons. Hey! We did it! They're giving up for now, Herr Mayor. This respite could give us the time to regroup with the rest of the division. We the have... 36 Canadier will relieve us done it. <laughs> Barely. Wow, do you see all those guys there at the end? Oh my god, wow, I can't believe we actually won there. <laughs> nice. Nice, okay, cool. <clears throat> wow, we did very poorly there. So, all right, cool. Yeah, hey, nice. Um. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. I'll probably record another one after this because I'm having a great time with this game, uh, as always. Thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead and leave a like and subscribe for uh, if, if you like this video, especially since it is the first video of the second campaign and will be marked as a different series. Uh, thank you, and until next time, bye-bye.